to take the derivative of y equals cosine of x over 3 plus sine x all to the third power. And so we have a chain rule because we got a function inside a power function. So the first thing we're going to do is take the derivative of the outside. This is a power function. So we use our power rule, bring the 3 out front, leave the inside alone. And then we'll decrease the power by 1. Now we got to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So this is just one way you can do this to sometimes make a large problem not so big and not have to take too many derivatives at once. As you get better, you'll start doing these all in one step. But when you're still practicing, I feel like this is a good way to make a big problem a little, a uh, bunch of little problems. Because now I can focus on just this derivative which is a quotient. So quotient rule, I start off with leaving the denominator alone. And because of that plus, it will need parentheses, times the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Now we have minus, because it's quotient rule. Cosine x times the derivative of the numerator. Derivative of 3 is 0. Derivative of sine x is cosine x all over the denominator squared. 3 plus sine x quantity squared. Notice this denominator is the same as this denominator. So we'll be able to combine those together when we do some uh, simplifying. So let's do this. We got 3, and let's break this up. We got cosine squared x on top. We've got 3 plus sine x squared on bottom. And we can start to distribute here in the results from our quotient rule. So that's going to be a negative 3 sine x minus sine squared x. And then multiplying the two cosines together, we get a minus cosine squared x. And this is where you should be starting to say, oh, look, I might have a Pythagorean identity here. So over 3 plus sine x, the quantity squared. And in fact, we do have a, a Pythagorean identity here because we could factor out the negative. So if I factor out that negative, there's my sine squared plus cosine squared. There's our Pythagorean, which we know is equal to 1. So in the numerator, we have 3 cosine squared x and then times minus 3 sine x. And then we do have a minus 1 here because the, because the Pythagorean identity is replacing that with a 1 and minus 1. And then in the denominator, because those are the same, the 3 plus sine x, we're going to have 3 plus sine x, two things of the same base when multiplied together. Their exponents add 2 plus 2, gives us to the fourth power, and there is our derivative.